Hey everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov from Cyprus. Today I want to show you something really cool. So I have my personal site at glebbakhmutov.com. It has my links, it has a list of all my projects. I can find specific projects by doing a search, for example, Cyprus, right? And all the things related to Cyprus, or maybe Mocha, all the projects related to Mocha. I actually push this site you know, manually, it's not automatically deployed, which works out for me because I don't update very often. Now I never had end-to-end -end test for this site, and now I want to add the test. So I don't want to pollute this repository with extra stuff, I don't want to make it more complex. I want to kind of test it from a separate repository. So today I create this test personal site, public repo, where the only thing I have are the tests from my personal site. So let's look at those tests. So not surprisingly, it's using Cypress. So I install Cypress as a dev dependency and there is nothing else to install. My Cypress JSON says the base URL is the deploy production URL, getbuckmotor.com. I don't have any fixtures, I don't have any support files, I don't have any plugins. So what do I want to test in my spec file? Well, I want to test to make sure that it loads, that there are projects, that I can use the search and find the right project right here. Okay, so that's my first test. And then that the header links, for example, they are there and there's email and so on. Great, so this test definitely passed locally. So now the question is, how do I run them on CI? Well, for sure, when I push to the repository, it should run the test. So I run this project using GitHub Actions. Here's my workflow file in the repository in that GitHub workflows. Uh, the name of the workflow is CI. And now I need to define the advance. When should this workflow run? So definitely when I push to the main branch. Great. They run. I also want to run the test on cron job. Because imagine if I deploy and don't run those tests, then at least at night the test will run and at 4 o'clock in the morning every day. So I can use schedule to schedule when the tests run. I'm only using the checkout action and then Cypress GitHub action to install dependencies and run the test. So this works. Right? I can show you the action step. So definitely when I committed something and pushed, it ran the test, as you can see on the main branch, it took 40 seconds, so it's pretty fast. Right? The action takes care of the caching and everything. But there's one more thing that's really, really nice. I can add one more event to my workflow. This workflow will run when I manually click the button on GitHub UI. So the event name is called Workflow Dispatch. I don't have any parameters, I just say Dispatch. So here's what happens. If I go into Workflows, and I want to test my site after I deploy it, and I click on Workflow CI, that's our um, workflow, I have this new button. It only appears when you have Workflow Dispatch as one of the events. So when I click Run Workflow, the branch is main, click Run Workflow, and now click on actions. So you see the new workflow was manually run by me because I'm logged in. You have to be logged in to be able to start the workflow manually. So let's click on the workflow. It has only a single job, set this run. So set up, set up uh, the container, checks out the code, and then runs set this run action. Okay, everything was already cached. We're using local uh, Cypress cache folder, so it takes only three seconds to actually get all dependencies in order, and then to start the test. We run them using default Electron. On GitHub Action, there are pre-installed Firefox and Chrome browsers, so I could use those, but it takes, what, four seconds to run the test, so everything is fine. So I just tested my personal site, by manually dispatching an event, by clicking a button which runs my GitHub Actions workflow. So that's how I will test my personal site from now on. 